Hello, everybody. It's Brad Jacobs. And just a quick intro for those that don't know me. I run a most serious medical practice called Blue Wave Medicine in Sausalito. I've been using uh, Heads Up Health for a couple of years now, and uh, I found it really helpful for a lot of my patients uh, that are interested in, in data and for a lot of my patients that need to use data to improve their quality of life. So just give you an overview, highlight my experience. Uh, in my experience, Heads Up Health is great about layering in data. So I primarily use the Aura Ring, which is sitting on my finger, um, and I have no formal financial relationship with Aura. Uh, and I primarily also like to use the continuous glucose monitors like <clears throat> Freestyle Libre, uh, the Libre 3, or the Dexcom. And uh, it's it, just those two uh, devices alone, it's great to see the overlap there. Um, for example, looking at layering heart rate variability with glucose. Uh, you know, I've had people say like, I've really cleaned up my diet, but my glu I'm still having these glucose spikes. And then we start to look and we realize, oh, actually, you know, you're having poor sleep or you're having high stress levels and that's spiking your glucose. And we can see that when we start to layer some of this data from different devices. So I really like that. So that's, that's a quick overview. So this is a, a dashboard, Brad. Why don't we just go through a few metrics here, but, but a, a client dashboard can have anything on there. So maybe just tell us what you're looking for with sleep, HRV, and glucose are a few good examples we can drill into here just on the dashboard and, and the lifestyle medicine part of things. So this is a great da dashboard. I try and limit the number of tiles. These things are called tiles that I put up there for my patients ideally like less than 12 and I typically prioritize them. So that's been good so that they see sort of just, you know, you can get overwhelmed with like so many different metrics you can put up here. So in the beginning, I'll often just put like, okay, what's your body fat? What's your glucose? What's your sleep score? What's your, what, how's your activity? Things like that. Uh, some people that are focused on like a ketogenic diet, then I'll we'll look at ketones if they use the like keto mojo, for example, breath ketone reading, something like that. This is a great dashboard for them. It looks at sort of the current reading. I also like to then generate reports and I have, I've employed some health coaches to work with me to go over stuff with folks on a regular basis more frequently. And here's an example of a report. So this one, you choose a couple different, you see a whole list there on the left, but if you just choose in this case, steps and HRV, heart rate variability. So this, and then in, in, in you turn, choose the time zone that you want, and then you can compare it down on the bottom there on the blue and the red on the bottom. You can see two columns, previous and current, like you can compare two different times. But this one on the top is that, that graphical display. You can see like, okay, when I'm stepping more, when I'm moving more, I sleep better. Or maybe it's vice versa, you know, maybe I sleep better and so therefore I have the energy to move more. But you see this correlation. So that's really helpful and reinforcing for people. And sometimes I pull these up and it'll show, like I was saying before, like glucose spikes. And then they uh, that glucose spike, let's say, uh, you know, it, on the CGM is affiliated with poor sleep or high stress. And so you can see those sort of correlates, which I like. So it's an advantage, you know, Freestyle Libre has their own portal and Aura or has Aura teams. You can go into each of their separate portals, but how do you overlay the data? And then more recently, they brought in these labs. So you can pull in labs into the, all this as well. So that's nice. So you can then like show how your LDL or hemoglobin A1C or insulin levels or whatever you're drawing is related to their lifestyle changes. Um, so I think that provides, you know, a pretty good overview. The way I use this is... I'll um, generate these reports. I'll preset these reports, so then I can just hit the button and generate it again. You can save these reports, and that way it makes it pretty quick to go in and have an immediate, you know, uh, report generated for you. That's an overview for me. And I'd say, you know, there's an app that they download. I use it on. Uh, I use the portal itself to do these, generate these more deep dive reports. And I found it really helpful. It's super engaging with folks. And, you know, sometimes the tail wags the dog, like they're driven by their data. And I try to bring them back to their, how they're experiencing it and how their body and life feels different. But it, it's nice, in my view, to use this product where you can overlap different devices, laboratory data, uh, VO2 max scores, you know, withings or whatever you might use to measure body composition. You can layer all that stuff into a single dashboard.